Hello? I have a little bit of a score to settle with this. I have been waiting for a little bit of reinforcements when it comes to certain teams in this game. It has probably been over a month since the last time this team actually took the field. This is going to be a very strange night. Let me tell you why for a second here, because the Jays game was cancelled. There was- I don't think it's ever sunny in Buffalo. I have watched every game this year, and once they hit Buffalo, it seemed like games are postponed every single day. That is why this night is kind of bad, but it might be very good in terms of that same thing. You can't get your ass kicked when you don't play. You cannot blow it. You can't lose. You cannot absolutely get embarrassed if you do not take the field. So what I have here tonight is this is going to be part two of the Toronto Blue Jays team. Not sure what I was going to say there, but there is kind of large upgrades to this. Last time I did this, there was no 99 Vlad. I had the player of the month Vlad, but not even close to this caliber of a Vlad. Teoscar Hernandez was not here, and I really want to do amazing with this. I really want to. I want to try my best to get this to parallel five as well. You don't have to worry about the damn offense for this team. That's the thing with this, is you can actually put a team together offensively where you know you might compete a little bit, but in terms of what the hell is going on on the other side, well, you might just be, you might be screwed. They need to drop another 99 starter or something for this team. There is absolutely nobody besides Robbie Ray and Alec Manoa at the moment. I'm trying to use as many actual Jays current cards as possible. I don't want to really use somebody from way back in the day or whatever the hell it was who played for the Jays or something. But again, the bullpen is always screwing everything, so I'm going to have to do that for that again. Only upgrade to that is the 96 Hendricks. I'm going to have to use Manoa in this game. I use Robbie Ray in the first game and my ass got lit up. The bench is not bad. I got Groshans, Carter, Edwin, Olerud, and Springer. Be honest here, whenever Alejandro Kirk is taking the field, your team has a chance to win. Danny Jansen is playing a plus 13 versus righties today. Where did they come up with that number? I don't know where the hell they got those statistics, but I don't think it's accurate. It would almost be a smarter move to use Danny in this game. He will have better power than Kirk this game. Wait a minute. Oh, I was looking at the wrong stat. I'm surprised Kirk has 16 stealing. Again, what number did that happen from? Well, I'm gonna be honest, after that game I played last night, there is a little bit less pressure on this one. I absolutely won a game I probably had no business on winning. And that makes you feel a little bit more rested for the next one you play. Or at least I do. But again, that is legitimately not useful information for anything. Well, it's time for the ever so frequent, what the hell is my opponent going to think looking at my team? Oh, fuck off. I just had to deal with this last night. I think he had parallel five Buxton. I thought I needed an outing from Cole yesterday. This is gonna have to be the greatest outing of all time. He's gonna run that out to begin the game. I know nothing. The fuck is up with Manoa's 60-something break? That's just unheard of for a starter. Hopefully this guy didn't have a good supper or something. That way he'll play bad. Because if you don't have a good supper, you're just thinking about how shitty your supper was rather than focusing on what's in front of you. If you have a fucking old meatloaf or some shit, that's what's, that's what's on your mind. Get a quick inning. Please don't let that start something. I was feeling good about everything involved in that. You fucking asshole, don't do it. The confidence meter went up. And I'm not talking about Manoa. Again, sit fastball and pray to Christ you foul it off. Man, that is unbelievable. I can't believe I was on anything last night. That's unbelievably fast. Come on, it's the first inning. It's way too early for that. I moved all the way from one side of the zone to the other, it looked like. That's all I want. You just have to believe you can put the ball in play. If you believe you can do that, then you have a chance. Vlad, buddy, if I'm gonna need three home runs in a game, it's this one. I'm gonna need four, maybe. It's alright. You think I'll turn on this? Really? Interesting... Very interesting things are going on. Buddy, not you. Come on, dude. Let's not be doing this now. But that is simply not a thing anymore. What the fuck? Don't tell me Manoa's gonna be out here dealing on the hill. That shouldn't have been in the zone. Jesus, he's late on it. Keep throwing it then. Up. 
by his eyes up. What is going on? This guy may have actually had a bad supper. Dude. The bringer of rain is in the building. That is all that needs to be said. That's the plan. That's been the plan. Drilled on the ground is short. Was that Bo? Was that him? That was him, wasn't it? Dude, how are people still even doing this? Well, now I'm kind of worried anytime a ball's hit to him. He's been making a lot of errors, not even just lately what the fuck it's the top when the hell did he get to the top of the order again the game just began five seconds ago what the hell happened if he played it like that he should have just let it bounce or he probably would have ran it out anyway jesus this guy's tempted to swing at everything almost you gotta pretty much mentally prepare for every ranked game at this point christ Wow, I was almost on that. The only ball I was on this damn game luckily left. This is what happened last night, and then shit hit the fan. Here's the first pitch. I don't know about that one. I really thought that one was gonna be shit on. If you don't sit on heat, you are screwed. This is fucking tripping me the hell out. This guy is still late on... Yeah, I would bet any fucking currency that the fifth inning rolls around. Well, you keep throwing that, the fifth inning might not roll around. This plan will be shattered into a million pieces. Everything will hit the fucking shits. Everything will come crumbling down for him. Or for me, I mean. Almost we're starting to believe a little bit. That was good. That was nice. That's fine. That's not a big deal as long as he doesn't hit a fucking two-run shot after that. That looked like that was gonna land. Vlad? I'm gonna need more than one mother shitting hit right now. Miss Love, Vlad. You're due. He's 0 for 1. He's 0 for 1, which means he's the most due I've ever seen anyone do. Get out the pillows for this one. My fuck. Good. Let it be the most ugly game of all time. I've been winning them. I only win the ugly games. He is, he has to be on that one of these days. There's no way he's just going to continue to not hit that. That looked like it broke way more than it should have. That's the first catcher I've ever seen pick it up and throw it. Luckily, this guy seems to be playing on par with how I'm playing right now. Otherwise, I'd have no fucking chance in hell. Even if I was winning, I wouldn't have a chance. I don't know how to describe this. This is very bad. I knew this was going to happen as soon as the ground took the hill. I got lucky against him yesterday, which means he was going to light my ass up tonight. Wait a minute. Don't even... Look, this is what I'm talking about. The plan... It's gone. No for Fuck sakes. Mother of God. This guy must not have Twitter. I guess if you don't have the internet, do you really know what happens? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. That's a good question. If you don't have... Well, what do you mean? He's online. What do you mean does he have internet? He's playing online right now. If you don't have Twitter, how would you know that they update anything? I guess if you look... Or there's more important issues at hand right now. Just keep pitching, motherfucker. This guy can't lay off the high stuff. Look at this. He'll swing. Oh, that was too high. When you throw it across the street, no one's gonna swing at it. No way he'll be on this. Man, the longer this goes, how long do you leave him in? Because I'm leaving my starter in way too long and then I blow it. This is fucking ugly. I have one hit. Listen, if I go down, I'm going down with the bullpen. I would rather face the feeling of not knowing whether or not Manoa could finish it, rather than leaving his ass in and getting destroyed. That is, that, that got faster since last night. It's the sixth inning. Can you believe that? That looked like a cutter. I'm winning somehow. That's impossible. 
consistently. A swing and a miss. That I can't wait to go to bed. Wow, this is awful. Get him in. Please, Christ, don't let him take the lead. If he takes the lead, the Grom isn't coming out of this game. Christ, please. Vlad's fault. That's the first time I've seen Vlad not make a play at first base this entire year, actually. This guy needs to take DeGrom out of this damn game at this point. I got it. I got it. Wait. What the hell's happening here? This connection catch shit or something? Fuck. Wait. They gave him the hit. They gave him the hit on that. Vlad's hit streak is alive. Come on, T. Oscar. Turn this one around, buddy. I'm calling it right now. Left center. No, that's a nice take. That's a... I would have took... What? I would have took that anyway, no matter where it was. Donaldson. Donaldson! Simeon. That's gone! He brought in Gary Sanchez off his bench. Why? What's the mindset behind this? I know nothing, apparently. That's a fucking big ass hit if you're him. If it's me, then that's fucking scary. How the hell did I forget to put a lefty in this damn bullpen twice in a row? There's no lefties. None. You'd have to run across the street to the aquarium if you want a lefty. Sit down, Buxton. Why does this always get intense? Why? Happens every game. It'd be the biggest snoozer to ever take place once the fucking seventh inning rolls around. It's mayhem. It's catastrophe. There is no way I'm getting out of this. How the fuck am I getting out of this? I could simply not tell you what I would do for Alejandro Kirk to hit an absolute tank right now. Like, I'm talking 450 to center, not some 335 foot shot to left. I don't think I ever had a chance. I don't know if I've got a hit with him yet since I've been using him. I picked the wrong time to heat up. If I was fucking hitting this wall the first five innings, I probably could have had more than two runs. Dude, I don't know if any catcher is bad in this game. I don't think this guy understands that that's only messing him up at this point. Beautiful. Wait, that was the ninth? I thought that was the eighth inning. I'm not fucking bullshitting anybody when I say that. That was the ninth inning. It's over. What the fuck happened? Dude, I am completely lost. I'm lost in my basement. I won that game. That's the most mythical event I've ever seen. There's that some Narnia type shit that just happened. I had fucking three hits. Why is that a highlight?